Question to the entire audience right now. If I say Halo, do you know what game I'm talking about? I know the older gamers like us here at Direct Gaming know exactly what Halo is, but to the new gamers or the younger gamers, I should say, do you actually know what Halo is? Have you played Halo in a while? Because I'm not gonna lie, it is always looking so grim for the Halo franchise, especially when you start to see things like this particular rumor right here in front of us, which to be fair, as of right now, the time of this recording seems to be just that, a rumor. Uh, some higher people, I guess, have come out and said that this is, you know, just a rumor. It's not true or anything. But we haven't actually heard any, like, official people from 343 dispute this. But the moment you hear that potentially 343 Industries, aka the ones who've been making Halo since Bungie left back at Halo Reach, so that's Halo 4, Halo 5, and Halo Infinite, and the moment you start to hear that, oh, they're not actually going to make the next Halo game. They're mostly just going to be doing kind of pre-production stuff and then give it to a third party developer to then make the game. You know, you're done effed up. I mean, if we take a look at Steam charts, for example, we've got Halo Infinite here. The big, the newest Halo game right now, sitting at only 1700 players right now. This current moment and 2400 at its 24 hour peak. And the Master Chief Collection, which is still a, a great collection, don't get me wrong, is at 3,000 players with a 24-hour peak of 4,500. The older games are beating out the brand new, the newest game, even though it's been out for a few years, obviously. And uh, by the way, this one's free to play. Damn! And I know Jeff from Central Windows and everything has said, no, this is not true or anything like that. There's a lot here that could potentially actually be true, or maybe parts of it are true and everything like that. But go check this out. This entire Twitter thread will be down in the comments below. Go check it out. Read it for yourself. Don't even take our word for it if you don't want to. But when the moment I started reading into this, the fact that we've seen things like the essential staff of 343 Industries get cut in half. Obviously, this is also part just due to all of the layoffs we've seen in the industry over the last couple of years. But, and then the firing and the restructure of 343 after Halo Infinite came out, the cancellation of things like single player content, the split screen, co-op stuff, like all of that's been canceled, even though they were supposed to bring it to the game and they said they would back when they initially released it. And then obviously we got to see the things like Greg or whatever the F his name is from the trailers and everything. Halo is in such a bad spot right now, in my personal opinion. And it just, it's sad to see obviously, because Halo back in the day, was one of the best first person shooters that you could ever hope for. And nowadays it's just, it's a laughing stock. It honestly is a laughing stock. And it is so sad to see, especially again, when you start to see that people are leaving the studio in droves, Microsoft's over reliance on contract workers and not bumping them up to full time. Because guess what? When those people try to make said game and then they get axed because their contract is up, all of that skill is left and it's gone. And you have to then train new people to bring them in to try and figure this stuff out. And that just is not viable in this day and age. Yes, I know every industry across the world uses contract workers, but they also keep some people around, but it just feels like 343, just it, they don't care about Halo, I, I think. And honestly, if this has any part of it is end up being true or anything, because again, we haven't heard any official statements or anything like that. And don't expect a new Halo game, by the way, until like 2028 at the earliest, I would say, because Infinite is basically just on life support right now. I would personally be okay with this because the next Halo game, if it is still made by 343 only, I have absolutely no hope. I have absolutely no hope. And I want to know everyone's thoughts right now, whether you're live with us right now, you're in the comments in the video format, or you're here with me talking right now. What are your thoughts on this when you see this? Just the fact that we all, a lot of us grew up with Halo and to see it in this honestly pathetic state that it's in right now, just, it hurts. It really does hurt to see. And I don't know what more they can do to try and bring this franchise back. I, I, I feel like it's almost not dead, but like it's nowhere near the big name that it used to be. Abandon all hope. Abandon all hope, he says. <laughs> Just abandon all hope. You've heard him. All right, cut it right there. Boom, video over. Yeah. It died with Bungie. Not that I'm, I, I can, I'd be the first to tell you, I'm not a huge Destiny guy, but I mean, 343 was built to house Halo. 
It was not. They built it around Halo, allegedly with people who liked Halo, allegedly. However, I don't think anyone would argue with me when I say Reach was pretty much the, the pinnacle and then it just kind of fell down from there. Right. Like, I don't I don't think it's a very controversial statement. Hell, I think it's a pretty ice cold take. It's because everyone agrees with it. But you look at this. I, I, I read this this tweet thread you sent me and it's not surprising because that's how a standard technical team works. Like, that's how it goes. It's effectively ran by a bunch of non-technical people who have an idea. They have goals they want to meet. And then those people go off to different positions within the company with their own goals to hit, you know, to get to a certain level, as they say, Microsoft, because they really level things there, which is bizarre to you know advance their own careers. And so you just have a constant stream of people kind of going in and out of 343 to better their own careers. Right. So it's a, effectively a corporate team within Microsoft. It was never about Halo. It was just about advancing their own careers within it. Well, I believe to you get... also said that when it comes to the people at these higher positions and everything, they're not actually game developers. They're It's more like no. office people essentially working. And when I, I say Microsoft office people trying to work on a Halo game. And that clearly doesn't work. For sure. But that's just, and this is kind of crossing the stream for lack of a reference to other videos we just did with ubisoft this is technology as U video games are the biggest form of media in terms of um, profits revenue i'm not sure what the number was but it's the biggest money maker the big pushes the biggest numbers and that's going to attract people who are not there to you know make good games they're there to make big money and that's why Microsoft's still here playing the games they do. That's why things are going the way they are with the industry. That's why you have people who have no idea about games. They probably ever you know, barely play games themselves who are in these very high positions within companies. That's the nature of the beast. People will go where the money is at. And I think 343 is a very good poster child for how not to run a studio, how not to handle a franchise. Halo just happened to be the uh, sacrificial lamb <laughs> for this, which is regrettable. I loved Halo. I lo Halo oh. 2 was my go to. I loved playing Halo 2 online. That was like my first online game. I could rant for hours about how much fun I l had playing with randos online, all the bizarre ass people I found on Xbox Live. Something you don't get anymore because everyone's in a party, but I digress. Halo is a humongous franchise and it withered on the vine due to corporate corporateness for lack of a better phrase it's unfortunate i really miss it infinite had some had some some potential uh, promise yeah. and potential but it did not pan out as we saw and i mean especially with us trying to find i mean just simply trying to find matches in the game even back when it initially launched it would take so long to find our matches i mean heck Half my playtime is most likely just sitting in a menu trying to find matches, essentially. No, no, half your time was sitting on Twitter scrolling. That's true. Too. Waiting for the loading. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what it was. That's exactly it was what it was. It was your Twitter time. It was your Twitter time. Bobby, what are your initial thoughts on all of this? I mean, I know you, just like you, you loved Halo, or you got to, you definitely played it back in the day, you know, stay on the couch, playing with your brothers, playing alone, all that stuff. What are your thoughts on all this? Is it is it sad to see Halo in this state that it is right now? And would you want a third party developer to finally take halo and make a competent game halo was the time where i really fell in love with a first person shooter like obviously i played doom and i thought doom was super cool duke nukem was funny right and golden eye we all played that but like halo when halo came out i remember just playing it like i didn't have an xbox but i would go over to my grandparents house every weekend and my cousin had halo and we would just play and we would play like the co-op and occasionally like pvp but mainly we play like legendary mode and just and just go for it and just have so much fun and it was like the first time i was ever like oh my god this is like a really awesome game it was the first the first person shooter i really really fell in love with 
and like Halo 2, obviously Halo 3 and then Reach and ODST even like those are all just fantastic memories and fantastic times. The problem is, is that, <clears throat> excuse me, 343 is just incredibly bad at it, but I don't know who else could do it. That's my problem is that I, I can't see another cup. Maybe id, maybe. Like, maybe, but I feel like it would feel totally different and not feel like Halo. And that's the one thing with, with 343 that, like, three. let's be real, 343 Halo games just, they suck. They're just awful. Yep. But they they feel like Halo still, you know? Like, it's like the moment to, especially Infinite. Like, Infinite, I always said the moment to moment of Infinite is incredible. Like it's inc- it feels so good. It feels like Halo, like as classic of a Halo as if I put on Halo CE. You know, it just feels like Halo. And and three four three's been able to keep that feeling. You know, like five was kind of wonky, but like they they brought it back for Infinite for sure. And I just don't know who else can get that feeling aside from Bungie, because Bungie are the ones who made it, right? Like. And that's why Concord feels good because those are Bungie devs who are basically taking trade secrets over to, you know, PlayStation. And, you know, now Bungie's doing Destiny, which is why, I mean, you and me, Talon, and even Lemon, I know you played Destiny back in the day. Mm-hmm. Like, how, how, how much time have we put into that? And can we just be real and say, like, Destiny is absolutely, <laughs> it's absolutely uh, one of the best feeling shooters of all time. Right. It is. It, is. It, it, does, it doesn't matter what your thoughts are on like the you know, any a game made by these guys themselves. Like you know, oh, I don't like the setting, or I don't like the monetization, I don't like the MMO style, I don't like the looter, whatever. Right? When it comes down to the gunplay and running around, shooting your weapon and everything, there is no denying that it is top of the class. Yeah. And, oh, and, yeah. it, and, it, and that's and it's proven. I mean, Halo Infinite, like we said, we all tried out. I know it was technically a beta, but basically when the game multiplayer released, like when we all tried out, we're just like, dude, this feels good. The moment to moment gameplay, it feels good to play this. Mm. It's just unfortunately everything else withered away, unfortunately, you know, whether it was the lack of maps, the lack of modes, the trying to find matches, it was the single player stuff being canceled, split screen, you name it, right? Like just all that stuff. Just that, that's the biggest thing that, that upset me like it, like halo obviously like we all played the pvp forever but like when they said oh hey we're gonna add more stuff for the pve i was like oh that's cool like i i was so hyped about that and especially after playing the base game and like talon you probably remember my review if you guys haven't seen it it's somewhere in the years old stuff look up our direct gaming uh halo infinite review but i said that like the biggest problem with infinite's campaign is that it looked fucking boring like it got so boring to look at because it all was just like brown and gray Mm -hmm. like and then there was some fucking trees and it was like the same tree copy and pasted and just resized like and like think about back on on combat evolved you start on uh you start on the ship you go immediately to the beach, then you have to fight your way through the fucking base. Then you go out and you're in the fucking snow. And then you get back and you go into the other base and then you end up in the swamp with the flood. Like, mm-hmm. there's so many different things that happen in just like, how many levels are there, like 12? There's so many different things that happen. And then like halfway through, the whole thing turns around and you have to play it backwards with all these new enemy encounters. And that was fucking rad. And Bungie did that in Destiny as well. And like people in Destiny were like, this is stupid. I was like, this is exactly what they did in Halo. I don't know why y'all are surprised. <laughs> like, that's what was so cool about Halo is like, it felt so there because it was like, it wasn't just random shit. It was like, they made this path that you fought through to get to the objective at the midpoint of the game. And then you had to fight your way back out. And I was like, okay, so maybe 343 can like do this where now they're gonna add like the snowy mountain range, or maybe there's like a lava area, like you have to go inside of a crater and there's a lava area and there could be all this cool stuff. But no, they just ended up like going, no, we're just gonna leave it. Like, ew, that that just felt bad uh, that they effectively abandoned it, especially after doing like 
you know, no, no split screen, which I, I, I maintain oh, yeah. to this day. Oh, that would have that, that would have been a thing that would have made me buy like a Series S and like just have beers with Chin in the loft and like do legendary Halo with my brothers. Like that would have been great. But I can't do that because there's no fucking local co-op. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So like, what what are we doing? Yeah. You know? Yeah, unfortunately, no, I, I, it's just a it's a it's a bad position to be in. And every single time I see in trailers or promotions and everything, and they always put Master Chief on there or anything. I'm like, I know you guys own it technically, but seriously, are you really putting the Master Chief on there still when you don't give two shits about the Halo itself? Like, you, you just don't. but but, but Talon, who else are they gonna put? That's the problem. Yeah, that is the thing. Well, they're <laughs> gonna put the Starfield, right, Redfall, the, the Starfield, Starfield suit. Was yeah. it Sarah? Was Sarah, it the, yeah. the companion? Yep. Sarah from like it's so hard to remember. That, I think Sarah was her name, and that was the one that I married. You know, <laughs> like, just put the Skyrim guy on at this point. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah, Call, 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 Call of Duty is going to be on there. Call of Duty, the yeah, <laughs> must be a professional. Generic let's, let's, let's U.S. soldier. Okay, yeah. all right. That's... <laughs> no, it's Ghost, man. That's yeah, you know, or, or McTavish. Yeah, yeah, that's just literally a picture of that meme of I think it was Ghost just staring back at the. Yes, yeah, just put camera. that on the put literally that on the box. box. Done. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> it, editor, boys. please, editor, please Photoshop that into <laughs> us. Just an Xbox Series X box with the with the ghost meme on it. There you go. 100%. No, it's just, it's, it's just sad. It's just sad. Like I've said, you say it multiple times already to see Halo in the state. And if we could, if I could say yes, give it to someone else to make and everything. Honestly, I would even say give it to another Xbox studio. Get it out to a third studio. Just get it out to a third studio because I don't know. Xbox just clearly doesn't care. And when I say Xbox, well, I mean Microsoft because daddy Microsoft is coming in and they're just like, we want our money for the hundred billion you guys have spent now. And they're going to make whatever cuts they need to. They're going to continue to do the typical contract work and everything like that. So if in a perfect world, Halo would go to a third party development studio and people who actually love to make games and love Halo and everything. And they would make a very good Halo game and then it would release. Um, I'm still waiting to see, though, if those rumors though, of Halo uh, Collector's Edition do go to uh, PlayStation, like some of the rumors have said, I, I would. Uh, like, like I, I would, I will pay you money, Microsoft. I will. There's not a lot I'm going to pay Microsoft if, if money for. If Call of Duty doesn't do well, then I'd expect it. I would expect it. So yeah, I, like, really, if this, Call of Duty doesn't do well. Come on, talent. Geez, yeah, like come let, on. Let's, they knew what they were doing buying Call of Duty. Okay, like, I guess yeah. I should rephrase it. the Game Pass numbers. Oh, 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 actually, I mean, let's be real though. Like, if anyone can fuck up Call of Duty, you know, like I, I'm not trying to be mean, but if anyone's gonna fuck up Call of Duty, it's gonna be Microsoft. Like, they're yeah. gonna start the contractor policies and. You know, because they, they got to keep updates going year round with that that game, and no, uh, no, we already they, saw layoffs. Yeah. We saw layoffs happen when uh, they acquired them. So, yeah, I mean they 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 laid off a bunch. They're raising prices. That you know, that Black Ops Six was basically you know they've been doing the tuning it up probably for like the last year because it's been in development for, for like four years. It was like the longest any COD has ever been in development, yeah. but. Like, cool, awesome, but at that point, you also, like, put out, like, one of the worst things ever last year, you know, uh, where you just remade the campaign from the fucking Battle Royale map or whatever they did. Yeah. Which is just sad. But, yeah, it just, I I really, I really am hoping that they can, they can at least keep that alive for their own sake, because otherwise, man, if they fuck up Call of Duty, they're cooked.